Hey you guys, I'm Stacy, and this is Gorgeously Aging and today we're going to do a full face of Milani makeup. I'm going to start with the Elta MD UV Restore and then go on to the Milani. This is the Conceal and Perfect foundation. This foundation is a little bit heavy. When it first came out, I really loved it. On mature skin for daytime wear, I like to sheer it out with a little bit of lotion or sunscreen. The Milani Liquid Contour in the shade 03 Toffee is one of my favorites from the drugstore. Not as good as Charlotte Tilbury, but still a really great contour. I find this color to be not too orangey and not too cool, so it gives you a little bit of bronze without that orangey look. This contour really does seem to blend in quite well. I like to use a padding motion or stippling motion so that we're not disturbing the foundation underneath, but it seems like it has pretty good holding power for a drugstore contour. The brushes I'm using in this video are mostly e.l.f. brushes. For the price, I think they perform really well. They don't hold up to washing as well as some more expensive brushes, but they are really good for the price. The Milani Conceal and Perfect is a really good full coverage concealer. I can't say that it's my favorite, but it is very long wearing. So if you tend to be somebody that loses their concealer throughout the day, this one really does hold up well. This concealer actually works out really nicely as an eyeshadow primer. I love a dampened sponge for blending in concealer on the mature face. It helps to sheer everything out and blend it in nicely. As far as loose setting powders go, the Milani Make It Last really is a good long wearing setting powder. It's pretty finely milled and actually really makes the makeup last all day. I'm a really big fan of matte eyeshadows for the mature face just because shimmers can sometimes pick up imperfections, creasing textures and wrinkles in the eyes. And this palette really is one that I enjoy. I do notice that some of the darker mattes don't blend as well as some of the high-end palettes that I have, but for the price point, I think this is a palette that's really versatile and has a lot of beautiful matte colors. The brush set that I'm using for the eyes here is the Morphe Times Aerial Collaboration, and this is actually one of my favorite brush sets as far as eyes go. It is really priced well for the quality of the brushes and has held up really nicely with washing. If you haven't tried putting a light colored matte eyeshadow in your inner corner, it really does brighten up and lift a tired eye. I also find using an eyeshadow on the lower lash line instead of a hard or heavy eyeliner is such a soft and pretty way to define the lower lash line. As I was digging through my Milani collection, I realized how fantastic the lip liners are. I haven't used them in a while, and when I start using them, they are so good. They're just as good as so many high-end brands. I'll list everything I'm using here today in the description box and the first comment below. If you haven't used this Milani Rose Balm, it is so nice on the lips. It reminds me of Laneige, but it does have a rosy smell. And the Keep It Full Nourishing Lip Plumper in the shade Champagne is one of my all-time favorites. And you guys know I'm a freak about sunscreen, so I love that the Make It Last setting spray has the option of the SPF 30. I like to take a little tiny sponge after the setting spray and just press under the eyes to make sure they are crease free and set for the day. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in my next video.